We are under the lights this evening as we and get now, you set for another your, edition of baseball on MLB Network. New it's the opener of this three-game series Yankees. between the Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Catfish Hunter, a right-hander from North Carolina, is the man on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Man, this guy was really rock solid in his last one. Eight solid innings in his last start to pick up the win. We'll see if he can keep it going and make it two really good starts in a row. Digging in, Mickey Mantle. He's set to Yankees. lead off the home half the of the second. Hitter, Mickey Mantle. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit hard down the line, but this is foul for the first strike. Grounded down the third baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Hey, stay hot now. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The one-two. He is swung on and missed strike three. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, Usually, hitters, they don't stand a chance. The batter, number seven. Designated hitter. At the plate now, Mickey, Mickey Mantle. Mantle. Skied into straightaway right. Nick wins under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. At the plate, Mickey Mantle. It's the been batter, an 0 for 2 seven. effort for him to this Designated point. Hitter, Mickey Mantle. Hey, find something you like up there. First pitch on its way. LeMayhew, the runner right at here. first with two gone. Hey, get your pitch. Make it happen right now, huh, kid? Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Pretty good rip on it, huh? From the belt, kicks and deals. That's ball three. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Let's go right here. Hey, see you driving. The Let's three go, one. This one's down to third. Ramirez is up with it. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Indians two and the Yankees one. Into the box, Mickey oh, Mantle. No hits in three the tries so far. Hitter. He struck out Mickey. once. Mantle. First pitch of the at bat on its way. It might be. It could be. It's gone. <laughs> So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Number 11 for him on the season as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run, but as you can see, he connected pretty well. 110 miles an hour off the bat, and it got out of here in a hurry. Oh. 
always nice to get the first game of a series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd, seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. New York came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Goose Gossage claims the win out of the pen, his first. Mariano Rivera closes the door for the save, his seventh of the campaign. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, Six runs, six hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For Cleveland, three runs on seven hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Looking first at the American League East, the Bronx Bombers bested the visiting Indians 6-3. In other Indians news, center fielder Bradley Zimmer has been recalled to the major leagues from AAA. John Olerud was hot at the plate collecting three hits in the game as the Blue Jays claimed the win over the Orioles 6-2. The Tampa Bay Rays swatted four home runs in this one. Daytime baseball here on MLB and Network. Now, Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New Cleveland Indians York and the New York Yankees. Yankees. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over nine in his last three starts, and he has to do a lot better. This guy isn't that bad of a pitcher, but one of the keys, he needs to start limiting the number of hits and to limit the number of Batting base on four. balls. It'll no, be interesting to hitter. see if he can turn things number around four. in this one here today. Here comes the first pitch. Lou Gehrig right, ball, is in one. with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. So, fellas, this Indians ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come off another loss last time out, and, in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker, without question. But you yeah, know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate round a game hard, plan to get this storm. back to 500. One and one to start the road. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One left for the Yankees. They trail in this one 3 nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. Digging in for his Yankee. second at bat. Lou the Gehrig. So far 0 for Number 1 four. with a fly out. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly yeah, just go, missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. 
Wait for your pitch up there. That Count misses one, one and two. two. And the pitch. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He pulls this one into right, and this is a fair ball as it'll head for the 314 sign. Throw into second. So he's in the second on the two base hit here to lead off the home fourth. And as that graphic shows us, he currently leads the Yankees in that category. Settling in now, Gio the Urshela. The first baseman, Gio Urshela. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right there. The 3-1. And he ball misses four, there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Here's big Aaron Judge. Now batting, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Come on, baby, see it, drive it, let's go. 3-0. And he won't nope. even have to take the bat off its moorings, a four-pitch walk here. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden, the wheels come off and he struggles. Now we'll batting. see if he can recover the here. Catcher. Jorge. Gehrig on third. Oh, no. Urshela over at second. Judge on at first with nobody out. A swing and a ground ball to third. Get out, to fly, second fly, for one fly. on He's first, out. and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. A hey, base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Coming to the plate now, the Lou Gehrig. Number one for four. two with a double on his line thus far. See it, drive it. Let's go right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Three runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Rip down the first baseline. One there. Oh, go hard, go, go hard, to Santana. Go hard. The double play, and that's how the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Indians four and the Yankees three. Bottom of the inning now. In now is the Yankees DH, the Yankees. Lou Gehrig. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this Number point. Four. This thing's far from Let's over, even though we're time. moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base they hit away from right. tying this thing up. Let's go. And this is cut on and missed count. below the knees, and it's 0-1. Perez is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever on, usage. Here you go. Now the 0-1. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation... I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when this pitcher's hey, missing like he is. It deep, huh? Here you go. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Popped him up. Santana has a play. Makes the play one away. A 
anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The Tribe used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Shane Bieber wins his third of the season. Garrett Cole struck out 10 in the losing effort. Brad Hand records the save, his eighth of the season. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game. For the victorious Cleveland Indians, four runs on 10 hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. For the Yankees, three runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47. Afternoon baseball here on and the now, show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New Cleveland Indians York and the New York Yankees. Yankees. Yankees baseball is next. Luis Severino gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. Batting four. The designated Stepping hitter. into the box, four. Lou Gehrig. Hey, he was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One oh. So, fellas, this Indians ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and right, hopefully right winning here. this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that. It might be. It could be. It's gone. <laughs> A two-run blast to straightaway right field, number 22 on the year, and the Yankees take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. This is exactly what you want your offense to do, to get your fans involved. Bottom of the first inning, let's get it started early with a homer. Stepping up now, now Lou batting. Gehrig. And Number remember, four. he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Yeah, and his last that bet, he hit a changeup out for a All home right, run. So right it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. First offering on its way. Turned on down the line. And this is going to get past him at first. That's a fair ball. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. 
Hard to tell if it was fair or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Standing in now with runners in now scoring bad. position, Gio Urshela, and he Gio. can give his guys an early Urshela. lead if he can come through here. Come on, big guy, get your pitch right here. Here's the 0-1. Hit out towards second. Hey, All right, hold it here, hold it here. the right field for a base hit. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's 3-2. to two. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Here's big Aaron Judge. Right fielder, Past history 99. with Mike Clevenger. He Aaron. comes in hitting right at a 300 Judge. clip. He's taken him deep once. And he's right here one time. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Now batting, catcher, Jorge. Oh, this is on the ground over to first. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And the run will score from third to make this a 4-2 to two game. Well, last time this guy had some success, but he can't seem to get it going here. In fact, he's given up more hits in this one than he did his entire last outing. And we're only in the third inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, now Lou batting. Gehrig. He Number launched four. one over the wall back in the opening frame. Come on, big guy. One time. Here you go. First pitch on its way. Counts 1-0. Oh. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy there. like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Hey, no but this hit. one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. 1-1 one, one pitch is a curveball that misses like ball two. Right Square it up. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. He makes the throw oh. to first, two down. Lou Gehrig will stand in here, but the before best. he does, let's take you Number back four. to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. time right here from the belt kicks and deals swung on and belted <laughs> a two run blast to straight away right field his second home run of the game as they open it up to eight to three. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. So striding forward now, now Lou back. Gehrig. Two Number home four. runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it lasted at bat. That ball was down and away. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh, well, that's good off the take plate. right there. Atta boy. Come 
Come on, big guy. Get your pitch, huh? Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hey, come on now. One time. Right here. Need you right here, kid. And that one got that a piece of him. He's got first. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. That'll bring in Giovanni First Urshela. Singled home a run in his last time up. Urshela. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Judge. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Now batting, the catcher. Jorge Posada. Hopped up. Go hard, just go on, go waits hard. on it. And the inning is over. So three runs in the inning on just one hit, but it was a big one, the home run. We've played eight full. The Yankees are out in front, 11-3. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 11-3, the final score in this contest. New York posted 11 runs on the scoreboard when it was all said and done. Luis Severino notches his third win of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, 11 runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. For Cleveland, three runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 41 minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon. 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.